Critter Creek Farm is basically, it's our property, it's our home, and we raise goats. We raise fainting goats and Nigerian dwarf goats. I'm also a full-time flower farmer. Goat yoga started about three years ago when my kids left for college and no one was coming to the farm, no one's playing with the babies except for me. And I really promise that when you buy um, baby goats from us that they're very socialized, they're friendly. So goat yoga is a way for us to bring the babies off the farm to have them get used to the public, get used to people, get very socialized, and they absolutely love it. They are born naturally afraid of people, so this really trains them to become social. And they are herd animals, so the more they're with people, the more they think people are part of their herd. A lot of our folks have never done yoga before. It's very intimidating going to a yoga studio, especially if you've never experienced yoga. So a lot of people, this is their sort of gateway, I joke, because you know nobody's looking at you. You know, they're playing with the goats, they're having fun. We have people each session that never do a lick of yoga. They just sit on the mat, hold a goat. So there's no pressure if you just kind of want to try or see what yoga is about. There's no pressure. You're not concerned with, you know, doing your best postures. You're less concerned about doing your best yoga. It's more about the goats having fun, having a good time, laughing. I was an ER nurse for 25 years. And um, a lot of pressure, a lot of sadness, a lot of positive stuff as well, um, being an ER nurse. But when I started the yoga three years ago, it was so nice just to be guaranteed a fun, happy, positive experience every week. Every week, you know, watching people love on the goats. It, it was just so therapeutic for me to watch that.